majority have worked with a lot of different wrestlers, men and women, referees as well, training and, and all like that. What experience, what knowledge were you taking from the basics and just worked all your way up? Because you really didn't have, right, any wrestling experience before then? No, no, no. I said, when I came out of college, I had zero wrestling experience. You were uh, a football player. You were athletic. A uh, football player. Uh, I was in the strength and conditioning department and stuff like that. So I had athleticism going in there, but I never did wrestling. Uh, I never did amateur wrestling as, uh, you know, the fun state as well. Uh, and you know, in Texas, uh, amateur wrestling won big down in South Texas. So I didn't get any of that. Right, it's football. It's all, yeah, huge. it's all football. Right, all football. So once uh, once I got to Doors, I mean, that's what he did. He started me off with the basics and just kept hammering the basics, hammering the basics. And he, it, it was just so great. Just I was like a sponge, just soaking in all. Of, I mean, just to hear the stories that Dory and Marty have, and just you know, of them being over in Japan, of them you know, working in WrestleMania. You know, just them getting to travel with his brother. You know, how him and his brother, him even promoting with his dad. You know, Dory Funk Senior, and just you know, the, just you know, that absolute passion that he shared, and which I shared as well. I, I mean, I remember sometimes after shows, Marty would get mad at me and Dory because we would be up in the locker room, just sitting there chit chatting. I'm sitting there telling him, you know, asking him to tell me stories, and Marty's like, I need to get home. I need to feed the dogs, or what, you know, and everything. So it was. I mean, absolutely incredible. I mean, I, I wouldn't trade the experience for the world. How do you get from the Funkin Conservatory, which is the training in Ocala with Dory Funk Jr., to WWE NXT? Um, Dory, as you know, is a WWE Hall of Famer and a legend. And he, uh, so I figured I would go to him because he, you know, no better trainer than Dory Funk himself. So he is a good friend. Gerald Briscoe. Contacted Gerald Briscoe, hey, uh, I got a kid here, why don't you come and check out? So he came down, uh, just did a couple matches for him and stuff, and he thought I had, you know, I had something to offer. So he, he kind of set it up, and I got a call, actually on my birthday, on my birthday from Canyon Seaman, saying, hey, at the end of this month, which is in September, at the end of this month, um, we have a trial in Tampa. You know, you want to buy a cup, you want to put over a very, very big And shot was overjoyed, overjoyed to the max. So, with a month out, I went down to um, the tryout, and then um, it was a three-day tryout, four-day tryout, four-day tryout. And I did very well, as you can tell. And I came here, uh, started here July 8th of 2013, when the performance center in Orlando started and uh, you know just been a joy ever since been a dream come true as I say it must be a change though you get excellent training with Dory and then you get excellent training here at the performance center oh. but it must have been a change as far as just the facility oh, of what you have to do in Ocala and then going to that performance center and all oh, must have been yes. a little bit of a change if not a lot of change in the, in the change. facility yes yes I, what was that like to get used to that uh, or was there anything to get used to what you get used to, uh, I mean, because when I came to Dory, it was just one ring. It was kind of, you know, um, you know, like a little studio or whatnot. It wasn't very big, so you know, the setting was smaller. And then you come to the WWE Performance Center. And it's huge. I mean, you got seven rings. You got state-of-the-art equipment. Uh, you have the, you know, best lifting facility you can. You have the athletic training staff, which is just great. You have a beautiful lounge, a great locker room. For and everything, I mean, it's just, you get taken back when you walk in there and you see, like, this big production, uh, everything, and you can see all the memorabilia, and, and of course you get the coaches, who all have been in this business, different, very, you know, they all came from a different background, of, they have the experiences and the, their knowledge of the business, it's just, it is really, really cool. Now you get here and you're in NXT and you team up with Buddy Murphy. He's from Australia. Melbourne, Australia. Melbourne, Australia. So you've got this guy from Texas with this guy from Melbourne, Australia. So how do those two cultures work together? <laughs> the funny story is Buddy and I actually met at the trial uh, when we had our trial back in 2013 in September. And we, uh, for some reason, we just hit it off. 
I, I mean, I don't know what it is. Maybe he grew up in the country in Australia, and I grew up in the country in Texas, but we just two little country boys, um, just from different ends of the world, you know? And we just, we seemed to hit it off. There was like a little spark or something. So um, he ended up winning. Uh, he paid his way from Australia. Yeah, I so said he, he was one that paid his way from Australia. And he, you know, did very well. You know, he, I, I saw him at the trial, and I was like, this kid has, you know, something. He, explosiveness, power, and speed, quickness, all that, athleticism. And so, we, you know, we chit-chatted through, and um, once he got the contract, I congratulated him and stuff like that. And, I, and it, it's just so funny. We, I show up July 8th at the Performance Center, and he's there as well. And so we started the same day, and we, you know, we hung out then. We just started hanging out more. We became friends and, uh, you know, going out, you know, watching movies, going playing mini golf, you know, and just having a good time, you know. And... You know, sharing laps or you know whatever it is, and you know, in the beginning we're just trying to find our own feet here in the WWE NXT, and I went off and did like some some things, and he went off and did some things, and he got injured here and there, and we just we're kind of like trying to find our way through, but then finally we're like, how about we start teaming up? We we share a similar style. We're both high energy. We're both athletic. We're both kind of powerful and. You know, why, why don't we put these two together and see how it works? And once we once we got put together, I mean, it was uh, it was off to the races. You know, I mean, we we started excelling very well. We started opening people's eyes, like, okay, maybe you know, these these kids got something. So, because you guys wrestled the Vaude Villains, yeah, right, the Lucha Dragons, Lucha Dragons. Yeah, we got uh, Enzo and Cass. You know, uh, you guys are wrestling good established oh, tag yeah, teams. Very much so, and. And going against them and, and working with them, could you tell right away that you and Buddy had something going, or did it take a little while to get it going? Uh, actually, we, we had something right off the bat. It just seemed to click. You know, like I said, maybe uh, maybe it was just our interaction when we first met or something. Maybe we just we uh, share a similar style, and so maybe it was just easy to mesh. Um, you know, you have the bald villains who share a similar style, like the old-fashioned, they keep, you know, you have Enzo, Enzo and Cass who are both flamboyant, and, you know, they kind of share something, and then and you have Buddy and me who are both very high energy, both very athletic, and I think we work well together, we kind of share the same mind, just from different parts of the world. <laughs> so what was it like winning the NXT Tag oh. Team titles? It was absolutely incredible. I, I mean, you talk about a kid dream coming true ever since you know I remember holding the plastic belts when I was in uh, my sister's crib as I pretended it was my ring with a little holding it up and I, it was just absolutely amazing and that's when when I won it with Buddy I I told him afterwards I was talking to him I was like man it's almost like I had a flashback like and also I just saw my life like in levels like where I was a little kid wrestling, wrestling, you know, wrestling on trampolines and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden I'm here on one of the biggest stages in WWE. You know, of course, with the WWE Network, our platform's even bigger and better. And to win it, uh, it was just absolutely, I was, you know, emotions were running high. And I remember talking to my mom and dad that night. And they were, you know, we, of course, we were all very emotional and very, very thankful. And it was, I mean, absolutely. Did you hear from Dory and Marty or contact them yes. or they contacted oh, you? Oh, yes, they, they contacted me as well. They send their congratulations. And, you know, with them, I, you know, like I said, they're the father and mother of my wrestling career. So, um, of course, they're a guy emotional as well. I mean, it was just great. You know, they were like, you know, you're a hard worker, and your work ethics, you know, bar none. And you, uh, they told me I, I deserved it, which is one of the biggest compliments when you hear a WWE Hall of Famer say you deserve something. And that's, that's probably a, a huge, huge compliment to me. That's, that's fantastic.